overdose deaths in Illinois rose by more than a quarter from 2019 to 2020, and medical experts are warning that pills not prescribed by a doctor may be counterfeit and could contain deadly levels of fentanyl. According to the CDC, a majority of overdose deaths are from opioids and synthetic opioids, and the increase is being largely driven by incidents involving fentanyl, which is 80 to 100 times more potent than morphine. Dr. Michael Wall with the Illinois Poison Center points out that one in four of the fake prescription pills seized and tested by the Drug Enforcement Agency contains potentially fatal amounts of fentanyl. What you buy on the streets or online is highly likely not to be what you think you're buying. And these counterfeit pills, they're actually deadly. While ads with music festivals coming up in Illinois, Lollapalooza begins tomorrow and Riot Fest is in September. He's concerned about concert goers buying illicit drugs and overdosing. He urges people to exercise caution. Wall says Narcan, or naloxone, is an important tool. It's a nasal spray to be administered right away when someone overdosing is having breathing problems, unusual sleepiness, or is unable to respond while they wait for emergency medical services. He adds at some music events, harm reduction groups like Dance Safe also will test pills for more dangerous substances like fentanyl. From a harm reduction standpoint, if you know people are going to be using prescription drugs, always have Narcan available just in case that someone does overdose, that you can potentially reverse the effects of the fentanyl. The other is to call 911. Wall adds that Illinois' Emergency Medical Services Access Law ensures people can seek help for overdoses without risking criminal liability. Dance Safe, which has been testing pills since 1999, has seen no members or volunteers be arrested for testing pills, nor have users been arrested for having their pills tested, according to the group's website. This is Lily Bolke with Illinois News Connection. Find our eight trust indicators for transparency and accuracy at publicnewsservice.org.